There's nothing quite like a green lawn to bring color and life to a yard, but unfortunately, traditional lawns can use a lot of water and artificial turf as an alternative can be hot and lifeless. So in this yard, we decided to use a California native sod to create a soft green meadow in this space, giving us the texture, color, and cooling effects of a lawn, but it uses a lot less water and it's more low maintenance as mowing is optional. Okay, so this is our future sod area. It has been exposed for probably two months or so. Not too many weeds, which is good. So I'm gonna knock those out and also till it up about uh, four to six inches. And then we're gonna add about one inch of brand new fancy soil that we're gonna till in as well. Just chilling with my girl Illusion. What's up lady? Screaming my topsoil. So I'm getting a yard of topsoil for my lawn. It's 350 square feet. Gives me about an inch. You can see I added stepping stones because we plan on growing this sod pretty tall, somewhere between eight to 10 inches and regular traffic would likely wear trails, which we want to avoid. Okay, so here's the no mow California native sod that I ordered from SNS Seed. Delta Bluegrass grows it. Basically, it's a combination of three different types of fescue. I have Festuca Idahoensis, Festuca rubra, and Festuca occidentalis. So we have three different types that kind of balance this out for different needs. But the cool thing about it is that this sod grows tall. And so it gives you really kind of a meadow look. It uses a lot less water. This no mow blend actually tolerates 50% shade, which is super cool. Uh, now you wouldn't want to go play football on this field or this grass area, but if you just want that green look that's significantly lower maintenance and less water, this is a great option. So bringing in the California native sod, it is kind of hard to find, but totally worth it. Um, it's gonna give us that nice green look and they really only have to mow it like one or two times a year if they want. Um, you can maintain it shorter though, like at four inches, if you choose to have a more traditional looking lawn. But we're going for a full on meadow out here. Ideally, we wanna get the sod down on the same day that it's cut. But we're down here in San Diego and this was grown north of Los Angeles. So it was cut last night and shipped to us. I'm hosing it down so that it doesn't dry out. In fact, we totally want to saturate the soil on the first day after the sod is installed. We want to get it soggy, really, really wet because it's really important that these roots do not dry out. However, it is a fine balance after that. So what we're going to do is water four times a day for seven minutes. And we're gonna slowly taper this off as it gets established. Usually it takes between seven and 14 days for the roots to start establishing. And then after that, you're gonna to wanna to give it a haircut. So I wanna give this lawn a haircut. I'm actually gonna be using my trimmer instead of a lawn mower. You could totally use a lawn mower, but we wanna keep this meadow look. So I'm just gonna take a little bit off the top. You never wanna take more than a third of the plant off at a time. Um, grasses won't really tolerate that too well and it stresses them out. So I'm just gonna kind of roll through here and do some trimming up, show some of the pavers that go through here so we can find them when we're walking through. But the longer that we keep this native grass, the less water it's gonna need because it's shading itself and the more low maintenance it is. Now, a lot of times you can leave the excess grass clippings and that'll actually fertilize the soil, but because these are so long, you just show a bunch of dead clumps. So I'm just gonna blow them off, collect them and we can compost them instead. but it kind of gives us that wavy grassy look. So if you live in an arid climate and love the idea of having a lush green lawn, you should definitely consider looking up California native sods that you can buy. However, if you want to save some money and put in a little more time, you can actually buy seeds as well and start your lawn that way. Well, good luck to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspired you. Go California natives and go ahead and hit that like button. Help me out by subscribing and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks guys.
It really feels like I'm brushing its hair. It's kind of therapeutic.